So the cream rises to the top, and you just cannot have a top 10 sports cars without a Lotus being in there somewhere. Next time anybody you're talking to who owns one of these things starts bragging about its capabilities, believe them. Believe everything. They might be the biggest pub ball you've ever met, but everything they say is true. The exterior styling had elements of Lotus's first mid-engine production car, the Europa. With subtle modern cues as well, all the elements were there for a success. Customers flocked to buy an Elise, loving the bare aluminium interior which gave the air of a racing car and delighting at the performance from the Rover K-Series engine. It really does corner like nothing else you'll ever drive. It stops. The stopping power is unbelievable. And it really is all about communicative controls. And that sounds you really, but it is. Everything about the car talks to you. The steering is as direct as it could possibly be without being heavy. The brakes are precisely the same. They're non-servo. And the more you apply the pressure, it sounds obvious, the more it'll break for you. But until you've really felt a proper braking system like this, you don't know what it's like. It's an absolutely astounding car to drive. Soon, from being a company on the verge of extinction, Lotus were rejuvenated, and the credit goes to this one model. The lightweight and Lotus's chassis expertise make for a ride and handling mix that is truly impressive. This is widely regarded as the benchmark for the Roadster market, which is why it's our very popular number one. Gentlemen, I give you the Lotus Elise. Thank you.